Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over how to make forms auto-populate with client info. In our previous video, we showed you how to create a case for family-based cases and employment-based cases on step 3 of the Create Case Wizard. In this video, we will visit an already existing case to see how the forms populate. Let us search for a case by clicking on Cases on the home page. We will proceed to search for the case by inputting the case name or client name. Once found, click on the case number or the edit button, which will take us into the case. Now before we begin, something to consider is seeing how our clients are linked to the case and having a separate tab open taking us to our client profile. From the tabs on the right, click on Case Parties. On the Case Parties tab, you will see your clients linked to the case as well as a role given to them on the case. These roles will play a part in how the forms auto-populate. Each case varies. However, if doing a general family-based case, you will link someone as a petitioner and someone as the alien, meaning someone is petitioning for their spouse, their child, their parent, and so on. To link someone, simply click on Link Case Party. A pop-up will appear giving you the ability to search for the client or create a new client profile. Once you have your client located, define their role as petitioner or the alien. For this client, we will say he is petitioning for someone. Our client is now linked to this case as the petitioner. Let us proceed to link the person they are petitioning for. Let us click on Link Party one more time, search for the client, and define their role as alien. You have now linked both parties. Before we move on, Something we can do is right click on either profile and open it in a new tab. This will come in handy if you need to make instant changes on a client profile that will reflect on a form. We can now proceed to click on the forms tab to the right. Once in the forms area, we will click on the form name or the open edit button to the left, taking us into the form. Once inside the form, we will notice our form has auto populated with the client profile we linked in the case parties tab. You will see a pink note on the left letting you know which client transferred over. Because we linked a client as a petitioner, their info auto-populated where it is marked petitioner's info goes here. And because we linked someone as alien, their info auto-populated where it says alien's info goes here. Now, even though by default it populated those clients you have linked as petitioner and alien, you still have options to replace info with other client profiles for this specific form. On certain sections, you will find the Select Party buttons. This button helps replace info with another client profile. If we click it, it will ask if we want to replace the client info as well as members of the client. We will select that one. We will then see who we have linked as a petitioner and who we linked as the alien, as well as people linked in their Members tab. If we select one of their names, it will populate that person's information. If we wish to bring back the person we had linked as alien, same steps, click on Select Party, Replace Alien and Members of the Alien, select the person linked as Alien, and their info will be brought back. Now, a quick tip. If working on a form and you notice something is wrong, you can manually edit the form. But keep in mind, that edit stays only on this form. If all forms need to be updated, you can make the change in the client profile. This is where having the client profile open on a separate tab comes in handy. I can go to that tab, Make the change there. Come back to the tab where the form is. From here, you have the option of exiting and re-entering the form to have the info appear, or if wanting to remain on the form, use those select party buttons. Click to replace the client's info and select their name again. What this does is it will refresh with the newest info on the client profile. Now, we saw how a family-based case works out. But what if you're doing an employment-based case? It's similar. If we visit our Case Parties tab, we will see already linked client profiles. If not, we will click on Link Case Party. We will search for our employer. Once selected, we will define them as the employer. When doing so, we will be asked the address and the signatory. If you remember from our previous video, you can link a signatory in the Members tab of a business client profile. By doing so, you can select them here. The address is any branch address inserted on that business client's profile. We will select that as well. We have now linked the employer, but what about the employee? We will proceed to click on Link Case Party. Search for who they are petitioning for, 
and link them as alien. We can proceed to go into our forms. If you go into a form, you will proceed to see business info transfer, including the signatory. You will also see who they are petitioning for as well. This concludes our video on auto-populating forms.